So I decided to start on my Sleeping Beauty junk journal. I did start adding pages to it. I think it goes well with what I have going. I did use some digitals on the old version of Sleeping Beauty. I thought that would be awesome just to add a little extra that's already there. So we're going to get going on this one. And I am right now looking for the pages that may need that I didn't fold them over like this one so I can glue and add what I want to. So let's start with that. Just add a little bit of glue here on both sides. Try to get it so it glues down in the middle. And then I want to add something on this part of the page. I think I'm going to add one of these pieces to it. Because I think that would be cool. Just add that right there. I know I'm just ripping it, but I figure why not. We're just starting on the Golden Book Journal, so it ain't like, it's a huge, huge deal. I'm not like getting really into it yet, but enough. into it where it's going to at least look good. And I'm trying to save all my little scrap pieces too here just a little bit. I don't want to go run, find my scissors. No point. Just a good extra page. To have going. See, nice little cute extra page in there. And I'm going to also add extra things too to it, but for right now, this will work. There's another one that we need to add a little extra something to it. So I know I did the spine and everything on my own, but it was way easier because I have bulk amounts of them and I just wanted to get them done. <laughs> I didn't have time to want to take the time of doing it. I'm just thinking this would be great because it's a scene. Here. So. Let's match up the scene to the scene, right? 
add a vintage page to it. Makes it cool looking. this to the other side of it. I'm going to rip off this edge here. And yes, I'm ripping it. I think it just adds a little bit more style to it. Right? Just a bit more taste rather than it being so plain. There we go. Beautiful. Add to to the original page. And I think this one has the middle one like that too. And we're also going to do something with them plain papers. Because who likes plain papers? make a little pocket right here. make it into a small pocket here. I figure this way. That'd be fun. Just a cute little pocket. Yeah. Okay, you go ahead and use the bathroom. My daughter has to announce when she needs to use the bathroom, you know. You need to use the bathroom? That's my medicine. You need to take your medicine. No, you're not taking medicine. No. <laughs> All right, now let's do something with some of these plain pages because I have a lot of them because I used some Disney scrapbooking paper. So I'm gonna grab that. I'm just going to grab a 
I'm going to keep cleaning. Let's see what that one does. And I just used my corrugated cardboard on it. I like that. Let's use this one. Try using it. Anyways. And yes, I'll be putting in the back what stamp I used just because of the whole thing with the stamps. Just grunges it up a little bit because I don't like them so plain. Nobody does. <laughs> you know, I wonder what would happen if I just did this right little thing here. Yeah, just rubbing my stamp up against it. Try to add a little bit of its own grunginess to it. And this one I'm going to do the same with it. Just rub it up against it. Try to add it, its own charm to it. Give it that antique look, but not destroy it all at the same time. And I like using my neutral ones. I don't like stamping with my non-neutral colors, my browns. Just because. I don't know why any, like, doing anything in the middle. It's only doing the sides. So, let's try the middle of the stamp. Let's see if we can get something going. There's obvious stuff on it. I don't know. It must be gooped up. That happens, I guess. Again, it's just something little bitty to give it a little extra look to it. I don't like so many plain pages and because I used scrapbooking paper in my own paper and didn't think about that when I was doing it. <coughs> Yeah, water. Drink it. But oh, that one's unopened. Yeah. Why were you in mommy's purse? No, Rosie did that. Why was Rosie in mommy's purse, Bella? Because 
Because why? So you decided going through mommy's purse was the right way of doing it? So Rosie could get it for you? No. You can go to your room. You know how mommy feels about you going through her purse. And I'm just going to go back and forth with this. Bella and Rosie decided to go through my purse. Obviously. <coughs> no, you need to stay out of Mommy's purse. Yes. You don't go in Mama's purse. Oh, Rosie closed the door because she was upset with me. That sounds like normal. And I'm just going to swing between the two just because. And I really didn't like how that checkerboard one was happening. So I'm not going to use that until I ungoober it. I'll have to get some goo gone or something and ungoober it somehow. Again, it just makes the pages a little less white. And my foot fell asleep. Now next I'll be working on journaling cards and tucks and maybe a flip out. I don't know if I want to do a flip out with any of these or not. It's kind of... I don't even know if I want to do triple pockets this time, let alone flip out. So, we'll see what happens there. But, ta-da! We got the pages ready to go. <coughs> I'm not doing any sewing in this book. There is something going on with my sewing machine, so until I figure out what's going on with my sewing machine, I'm not going to be doing a lot of sewing in my stuff. But I'm probably going to bind the book without you guys, just because it's the same thing I've showed you several times over my madness on doing that. So I just, no, will not do that. But I will be doing the pockets with you, the envelopes, that type of thing. So enjoy the rest of your day.